Ladies and gentlemen, now after a couple of setbacks, today is finally the day that we unlock Aizawa. So the two things that screwed me over a little bit is the first one, and this is very important to know if you don't already know it, is that All Might doesn't count toward the characters that you need to level up here. So it's only class 1A characters, and it doesn't really say that when it says upgrade 6 heroes to level 80. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit of a trap there, because again, All Might is not included in this list of characters here, so if you upgrade him, he doesn't count toward it, which is really, really unfortunate. And also the second thing that I was a bit unprepared for, which I've spoken about a couple of times now, is the amount of character experience to take 6 characters from 70 to 80, because it's 15,000 experience per character. Uh, so it's a total of 90,000 plus also I fully leveled up All Might. So yeah, we were very far behind on the experience grind. Uh, and that only made it worse for like setting me back a fair bit. Uh, and also you're going to see something that... Um uh, you know, you haven't seen before on this account yet, but there is going to be a video out a little bit, uh, a, a little bit, a little bit later. Actually, my, my face is hiding it pretty well there. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later on the channel. But the final character I'm going to be taking up to level 80. So we've taken up Bakugo, Tokiyami, Uraka, uh, Midoriya, and also Todoroki. Uh, but I'm also going to be taking up Kaminari as well. And just because he was the closest character I had to level 80. Uh, and also, I like using this guy for... For like the initial two uh, to four co-op dungeon runs on a daily basis just to build up my key level there because uh, yeah he's really really good for co-op just um uh, you know, spam and stuff arranged and nuke and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I really like my triple S Kaminari, man. He's really, really fun to play for that mode of gameplay. Uh, and yeah, we got the heavy lifters for other content as well. So yeah, he's a very nice addition to the roster. Uh, but there we go. That man is uh, all the way up to level 80. Uh, so I, th I think we've done it. I think we've met the criteria now. So let's uh, have a little bit of a look. Go back here. We're going to claim the final puzzle pieces. We've got the final 10. Let's go back to the roster now, and hopefully we should be able to unlock this man. Let's uh, let's go for it. There we go, man. Absolutely amazing. Aizawa has been unlocked. That is fantastic, boys. Right, I've got to take a, a cheeky little uh, screenshot of that one. But that is, that is perfect, man. Super, super happy about that. But dude, finally we've got this guy. Again, in comparison to the rest of the whale roster, I think for PvE, uh, because he's only an S rank character, isn't going to be swinging like that hard. Uh, do we have like enough to take him up to like a decent level today? Let's uh, chuck in the um, uh, the food and see how high we can push this man here. And because we've already done so many challenges, he's actually pushed up a fair bit in terms of his initial BP. You see, he starts on like 14k, and again, that's all due to uh, gear and also the challenges that we've done on this account. But we've pushed really, really high on the whale account for challenges, man. And we're getting very close to about 400,000 account CC. Uh, I think this weekend we should be able to push a little bit over that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very, very excited for that, man. That should be a great time. Uh, but I think I'm going to rush uh, a couple of these as well. Let's uh, see if we can upgrade him to level 40. I think we got like a little bit more XP. So I think we can push him like slightly higher here. But I just want to um, uh, drone nuke a couple of these missions. See if we can, you know, get those numbers up a little bit more before we take him into uh, PvE and uh, test out this man initially today. But uh, I've heard that Aizawa is not really much of a PvE character. Uh, but then I also heard Ida was an absolutely trash character. So <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to make my own evaluations uh, from now on. But so yeah, we've got a lot of testing to do when it does come to this man. But let's uh, let's upgrade this. Dude, I love the, uh, the training animations in this game, man. They are absolutely brilliant. All right, so the highest I can push him for now is level 40. So we're going to upgrade the skills as well. Uh, again, I don't have too much of an idea of what's going on with a raise ahead. So if you've got any really good tips for both PvP and also PvE, uh, please do let me know in the comments section below. Uh, but yeah, we've also got some chips for this man. We've got a couple of six-star chips that we've farmed out here. And also a five-star one for this slot as well. And again, six-star and five-star chips are really important because they also have synergy bonuses as well uh so yeah i'm not too sure exactly what that one does yet uh but unfortunately we don't have enough materials to really heavily invest in the talents yet so we'll just unlock the initial one and then i need to do a little bit of reading and understand more about this character before i figure out you know which way to build him uh also for the assist let's make sure um 
Uh, everything is in order. Uh, I think we've also got all my assists here, dude. Oh my god, bro. That's actually super, super strong. And if we got the best one here, actually, we want to change that to the Momo assist. Uh, so yeah, that is really, <laughs> really nice there. But let's uh, let's jump in, man. I want to like start playing around with this guy, and then we're gonna check out some of his challenges as well, because we should be able to uh, push for a um. Uh, a few of those to get more stats on the account uh, and upgrade a fair bit here. So let's check out the basic combo. The basic combo is savage, dude. I love that he kind of like dashes back at the end of that. That's actually super valuable uh, for like just getting out of uh, moves and situations. So let's go for the Q ability. So the Q ability. Uh, <laughs> what, what does Q do? We got the assist from Momo there. But I don't think that's, uh, I think that's just proc there. Does it increase our movement speed? And also stealth us, I believe, for a certain period of time. Okay, nice. And then we got the, uh, the W. Let's go for E, which, uh, oh my god, dude, that is awesome. Yeah, this guy's a freaking ninja, man. Again, I've got a lot of learning to do, so uh, <laughs> let me know. I think, is he also throwing cow drops on the ground? Or how do we uh, chuck those off? Not quite sure, but when filling up the bar, we can go for this, which erases the opponent's quirk, um, and I think prevents, like, certain attacks and abilities. Uh, also, apparently wraps them up as well. Okay, that is really, <laughs> really nice there. <laughs> so, yeah, this guy, dude, he feels amazing, man. He is so goddamn smooth to play. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've still got uh, a lot of learning to do when it comes to the uh, the optimal rotation and play style. But let's, let's check out that ultimate as well. Oh my goodness, that's a cool ultimate, man. That is really, really nice. And I think it also gives him a boost to his movement speed as well. I see he's getting like a lot of attack bonuses from um, uh, various abilities and sources there. Um, so yeah, anyway, now that we've like just spammed his abilities and checked him out a little bit, uh, let's go into the challenges and fight some bosses and get some stars to the account as well. Again, this is a really important thing for like any new characters that you do get, is to push as many stars as you possibly can. Uh, but yeah, let's unlock. We had three initially there, and uh, unfortunately he switched position on us. Uh, and I think with the, the base uh, power, we should be able to do, uh, yeah, hopefully about four or five here, man. So what's good for the engage? Oh my god, just instant one shot there. Okay, that's uh, that's a promising start. <laughs> and yeah, that one chucks down the cow drops, which I think deal a little bit of damage and flinch the opponent. Um, but yeah, that was a, that was a good uh, good first stage there, man. We just absolutely smashed through it. Let's have a look at uh, the next stage and what we're dealing with here. But I'm not too sure how you get like future shards for this guy in the future. I think there is going to be a banner or something. <laughs> right, let's smash him. There we go. Yeah, base damage. He's, he's hitting very, very nicely, man. I think even Aizawa, like, straight out of the gate, with all the, the base power I've got on the, uh, the whale account, man, is just hitting so much harder than anything on my uh, free-to-play account. Well, Ida, Ida hits really, really hard, but we need to get him, like, ramped up. But Aizawa, straight out of the gate, dude, the burst damage seems, uh, seems pr pretty damn nice here. All right, let's just tear through some of these. Smash down with this. Head over here. He really is just teleporting about like crazy, man. Yeah, Aizawa's absolute beast, man. <laughs> I do love that ability where he slams down as well. That's awesome. Right, let's use W to engage. Does W engage or does it just chuck down uh, Caltrops? He's got like a couple of different modes. Um, we're going to activate the, the special here. I, I don't think the special actually consumes the, the bottom bar. But because of the uh, the coloring of his abilities, it kind of looks like they're they're always inactive. I kind of wish they uh, had like a bit of a different shade, you know? If that makes sense. All right, let's go for this. Nice, man. Nice. So that one, hopefully, we have met the three star criteria there. <laughs> Just smashing about. Yeah, not too bad at all, man. About three k DPS there. There's a lot of uh, a lot of knocking about. We got Unbreakable Hammer, so this is uh, one of the um, one of the slightly more difficult bosses. Do what is the criteria for his abilities changing? Actually, is it is it to do with the range of this character? All right, let's activate the special. We'll get the attack bonus here. Okay. 
Okay, nice. Oh my god, dude, that perfect dodge animation is, is hella clean, man. That's awesome. Is it the Q that's hitting like mad hard? I think it's the Momo assist. Um, that we can potentially get off the Q that's dealing some massive damage. Alright, let's go for the dodge there. Again, I still have uh, <laughs> much to learn. Oh, nice, we wrapped them up there. Perfect. Nice, bro. Nice. I think the assist damage from Momo is just crazy, man. I think you like smack that man for like 13k there. So yeah, assists are, you know, super, super OP, man. That's definitely something I've uh, found lacking a bit on the, the free-to-play account. Because if you have all the characters in the roster, you can equip like all of the best assists. But that all my assist is nuts, bro. It's absolutely wild. Okay, we are we are tearing through this, man. My goodness, dude. <laughs> uh, right, well, this is going well. Let's chug this off. Oh, my God. Dude, pop off, King, man. Let's see it. Almost there. There's, there's some fantastic damage on the base combo. Yeah, I can see why this guy's going to be a bit, of a, a bit of a threat in PvP. I'm definitely going to need to do a fair bit of reading into the... Uh, <laughs> what is it? The intricacies of his abilities before I take him into PvP, man, and do a, um, a few practice matches. Uh, but yeah, that should be coming a little bit later this afternoon. Uh, but anyway, can we deal with uh, one more boss here? That was a bit of a punch-up, to be fair, man, and we still got uh, three stars in that one. That was 22k. And again, I've only got him level 40 at the moment, so there's a lot of room for additional upgrades here. Okay, we got the the cow drops. Did he actually like play into my cow drops there? I think he did. All right, let's go for the erase. Does that does the erase like actually function in PvE? <laughs> I'm not too sure. I imagine it'd be like pretty crazy if it just disabled all the bosses' attacks. Maybe a bit a bit too crazy. Let's go for this. Smash him with this. Where are we at full bar now? Do we get full attack bonus? Actually, I don't think we're quite there. Okay, nice. You've actually broken the uh, the super armor here. <laughs> oh, it's really fun just throwing the opponent around. He does create like a lot of distance toward the end of his combo, though. Again, this one, we are punching like a fair bit. Oh, nice. Yeah, dude, it's when you fill that bar and then you just go ham. All right, let's try that ultimate. Yeah, that ultimate slapping, dude, for his power level as well. That is a, that is a pretty decent ultimate, man. Um, So, yeah, overall, again, I need to upgrade him a little bit more before we can get uh, some higher stars than that one. We actually still raked in a fair amount of... um. Uh, initial challenge stars there. Uh, I think enough to get us to another big milestone. And again, you see, like, every time I claim one of these, man, it's like almost 300 uh, uh, BP for the entire account. And actually, we're almost at, like, a massive one as well. So 300, we get Repulsion Break, uh, which increases Hero's attack by 120 points. So that's all my characters, dude. I need to I need to find a character where I can quickly get two stars on. I'm probably sure there's uh, there's one in the box now that we've got them all level 80. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's initial look at uh, Aizawa. He is a really, really cool character. And again, apparently the primary... Um, uh, mode of gameplay where this man absolutely dominates his PvP. So I gotta brush up on the abilities, I gotta get good, but if there's any tips or tricks that you have when it comes to playing this character, or like videos I need to watch, uh, please do let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching, take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now, or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.